Hi, I'm Mr. Schmidt. I've been teaching sociology at the Bourne Academy for about three years now. It is an incredibly exciting subject uh, where psychology looks at the mind and why people do things. We look at groups of people, we look at culture, we look at upbringing, we look at ethnicity, we look at gender, all of those different things to determine and answer the question, why do people do the things that they do? So we look at the education sector, we look at crime and deviance, we look at families, and we look at the media and ask um, and really try to work out why people act the way they do. So, at Six Hall, we've got two options, basically, a single sport option, which is one A-level equivalent, and we've got the triple sport, which is the three A-level equivalent. So students can choose whether they want to take one sport plus two other uh, A-levels, or they can do the triple sport, which is all in, but that's what that, that course gets into university. There's lots of different units, from muscles, physiology, to coaching, there's practical elements, uh, there's exams, plus coursework, which helps our students achieve and do well. The course at A-level is the BTEC Level 3 National Certificate in Film and Video Production. So it's quite technical and we get to make some really cool stuff. Um, so we get to do like filming, uh, you get to do things like stop motion, setting up cameras and lighting. Um, but as well as that we do have to analyse the people, so there is some writing involved. So I would expect people that want to do it, try to make sure you're getting five or six in English and you should be perfect for um, this course. We start with uh, awareness of crime and how that changes and changes from culture and changes over time. So for example at the moment my year 12s are looking at um, homosexuality which was decriminalised in 1967 and, and resulting in 2014 in same-sex marriages so you can follow something through in that way. We look at media representation of crime and how that influences us in thinking there's a terrorist around every corner, there's a knife wielding yob around every corner. So we spend a lot of time on that. We look at brilliant things from crime scene all the way through to um, courtroom. We follow that through. So what happens forensically, what happens um, in terms of detectiveness and, and looking at motive and means um, and opportunity. So we run the uh, Rock School Level 3 music course. Uh, it's worth an A level and a half uh, and it's unit based, modular based like a BTEC. Uh, so students can take a multitude of different options and units such as auditioning, promotion, running live music events, uh, recording. Uh, the idea behind the course is that it makes sure that you have all the skills necessary to be able to have a career in music and to make money in music uh, if, when you leave uh, the sixth form or if you can carry on to university to study music as well. Okay, so this is philosophy, religion and ethics. In it we look at ancient philosophers, we look at the problem of evil, we look at ethics with euthanasia and sexual ethics, and we look at development in Christian thought. So we look at feminism, for example, and how it's related to the Bible, and is the Bible also patriarchal? Is it dominated by men? Um, if you studied it at year 11, it will be very similar to how it runs. Um, so you'll investigate artists and photographers, you'll design photo shoots based on their style of work, and then you'll go out and you'll photograph those images, take them back to the editing studio, edit them in Photoshop, so you're using different range of skills. Um, it's much more personal to you, you get to choose your own investigation, the subject that you want to. Here at the Academy we offer at A level um, the opportunity to study French or Spanish, um, an A-level in uh, French or Spanish, uh, but would also mean to study um, the history, politics, literature, and um, an independent project which could also be a film. So we've got two courses. We've got maths, which is A-level maths, and that's for anybody that's a grade seven or higher in GCC. And the other course that we have is a core maths, and that's for anybody that gets a grade four, grade five, or grade six in GCC. The difference between the two courses, so A-level maths is a full A-level, so you do it for two years and you get the full A-level at the end of it. That is for anybody that really enjoys the subject and, and wants to really be passionate about learning new formula and learning how maths is applied, because we do a, a section whereby we've got statistics and mechanics, so it will support you with the sciences, um, but you really is looking at proofs, we've got all sorts of integration, differentiation and lots of maths. Um, for maths lovers in the A-level maths. With the core maths, it's more for anybody that wants to still study maths. Now, we do get an AS at the end of it, so it's half an A-level. And it's really 
if you lo like maths, you want to continue doing maths, but don't necessarily want the, the poor side of things, this one is more maths in context, so it's about applying the maths that we know to real life situations. A-level biology, it's one of the core subjects, core science courses. Um, it uh, contains eight different units which do a deep dive into the themes that you will have covered at GCSE already but to a much more detailed level. So you're looking at uh, things like how the interior of cells works, how the immune system works, how animals and species interact in the environment. So it's looking at all the kind of really interesting parts of GCSE from low to high detail. It opens up anything that you want to be you can do with a chemistry A level and it explains so many things. Um, you will find yourself after a lesson A level going, so that's why. And then you will move it on and then you will be the interesting person people want to talk to at parties because you can explain anything that they want to ask. It makes you think and it makes you look at life in a completely different way. And it's a wonderful subject. And it's always, there are, the more you study the subject, the more questions you will have than answers. You'll learn things from uh, how cells and tissues work, right through to how we communicate with waves. Uh, in preparation for you setting up your own investigation and then being assessed on your ability to analyse and evaluate evidence that you've gathered from the crime scene. The top of the course is split into two pieces. Uh, we've got the human side and the physical side. Um, so if you are more interested in human geography, uh, it caters to your, your interests. Um, in the physical side, we've got water and carbon, um, all about the birth of the earth and the importance of water. Uh, we've also got uh, coasts, because we live at the coast, and we've also got hazards, natural hazards. Uh, in the human side, we've got something that no one will have done before, which is changing places, all about belonging. At the moment where we've been studying literature, we do try and get lots of theatre trips involved. So we study Shakespeare um, and we study a streetcar named Desire and the best way to see those is as pieces of theatre in the um, in the West End. So we do try and get to do those as much as possible. At A-level we try to treat you more as either an acting company or uh, a dance company. Um, there's so much more involved in terms of the techniques that, you know, that is a real step up, it's a real development of the technique. Also, sort of performance opportunities, you know, you're the top of the school, you're representing um, the top level of the school. Um, so being, you know, creating those cross links with, um, you know, key companies, making sure that you're getting access to the professional world as well. A level, we do tend to go to Berlin and go to Germany. We look at sort of Cold War sites there. They have still have um, bunkers and so forth. They're hidden in their underground uh, trains, uh, underground railway sites. Um, so that's a fantastic opportunity. But we also do and have done in the past, gone up to Bristol and Liverpool as well. So the Design Technology course at A-Level is based on 50% design portfolio, which the student gets to be able to choose what they design. Um, this is really good because they can cater it towards maybe a potential career that they like or an apprenticeship that they're looking forward to, and they get to build up a portfolio which really suits them as an individual, and they can take to an interview, they can take to college and, and, and really show off their skills. It, it's, it's really suitable for a range of different careers. Um, we really try and get students to pick a combination that will fit in with both an engineering and a design future. Um, in terms of workshop skills, we cover a, a more extensive range of workshop skills and in much more depth at A-level. In terms of design skills as well, because they are designing their own product based on what they want to do, the depth in which they look at 3D design using industry standard uh, software like SolidWorks really does upskill them for future job roles. We get lots of opportunities to go out and about in the community and to look at business organisations, how they work. It prepares us for a lot of different things outside of school. Um, I've got on my board some things it prepares us for. So if you've got any ideas of running your own business, of going to university, lots of options are available for university, from accountants in finance, through to business management, through to operations management, leadership, and um, also start an apprenticeship. Um, it, whatever your choices are, what you're thinking of outside of school, when you finish your A-levels, there's an option available from A-level business.